What is up, guys? This is Pinzo back with another video today. And what I have for you guys is some Rampage. Rampage has been kind of sleeper good for the last patch since they actually fixed his E. They actually kind of like soft reworked him like uh, two patches ago or something like that, the Quang patch. But he was bugged. And now that he's not bugged anymore, he's been pretty good and he got pretty hard nerfed in the last patch like a pretty big nerf to his ultimate his e a little tuned down but i actually still think this character is really good like this is a, you just play him as a bruiser he's not just a solid front line in front liner anymore you can go aug first you can go basilisk first you don't really need a clear item on this character as long as your first item has haste on it and i actually think he's really good so hopefully you guys enjoy the rampage but we'll jump right into it okay so the arrow turns red when it's when it's smiteable good to know this is my first jungle game with the uh, with the jungle changes. I've not played the jungle changes yet. I've I, like I've hit jungle camps as a mid laner, but that's about it. Okay, the minion AI definitely still needs work done. <laughs> this is what I'm learning. The minion AI still not good, but. Uh... Oh, red buff to the five camp. Well, they have a meter on them. That is like, does it, do they just go back when the meter ends? They do. Okay, so they insta reset when the meter ends. The way that it works in smite is that if you hit them after the meter ends, it re-aggros them. So I was, I was seeing if, if like what the, what the difference was. I love how he can see me through the fog wall because he walked through a fog wall. He just gets to see me on that fog wall. I'm just going to wait for this, honestly. I'm kind of fucking up my early jungle, but I'll give this to my Argus. Oh, wave clear first, like Fire Blossom or Overlord? I don't think you need it. If I go Aug, then I definitely don't need it, but... Ramp clear is just good, bro. With haste, you, I don't think you just... I just don't think you need a clear item. If you build ability haste on this character, your E is such a good ability at clearing camps that I just don't think you need it. Gotta figure out how how early I can pull camps so that I can uh, not have them de-aggro. Right? You gotta figure out how... Oh, misclick. Uh, you gotta figure out how early you can pull them out of the radius before the, so that they don't de-aggro before you can kill them. All right, that red arrow is going to take some getting used to. It's kind of interesting. I feel like it definitely raises the skill cap on jungle. Like, you have to know how fast you can pull something out of the radius and still kill it, right? It's definitely going to be more knowledge in the jungle. Or at least more experience that you need. I think I'm just going to go ability haste first, honestly. Grab 10 haste off the bat. Health scales on my hunt burn. I think that's fine. Did Ramp just do his jump animation when he was flying through the air? Yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to like pulling stuff out and seeing how far I can get it. Wait. Drop for a river. No, the pillar! The pillar kinda fucked me. That's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna take the other river buff. My Argus has enough mana, he's good. He's good. Eh, I'll fucking send it. I don't care. He kind of does his jump animation. It's not exactly his jump animation. It's kind of similar. Might just be his falling animation, I guess. I, I like the flowers. I think the flowers are good. See, like the minions, if the minions actually walked with me when I pulled them, it'd be a lot different. I feel like it'd be a lot easier. The fact that the minions get stuck on dead minions makes it actually really annoying. And 
My minions are not very quick. They are very slow. My dude's pulling this for me. What a gamer. They distributed the amber? No, 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 no. Uh, all of the stuff, all of the last season, at the end of season rewards will come out tomorrow is what I've been told. That's what Wangle said at least. Will red buff drop off the cliff? It'll probably walk around. It probably won't fall. It'll probably walk around. But I'm guessing you could pull it that way. Rip's done. That's all right. His three's up. I might as well grab this. I think he's taking my three, so... I grex this Giga ahead, actually. Can I pull enemy jungle minions out of their camp? Oh, if I can pull enemy jungle minions away, that's actually big. Like, I know, like, in Smite, they don't let you pull enemy jungle minions. You can only leash your own jungle minions like that kind of neat oh my god dude that i just gave that guy the best head of his life flowers are a nice movement option i like them i think they're kind of neat i know uh, there's probably already a reddit post saying i hate flowers it takes away the the special mobility that some characters have because that's what the dumbass people that play this game think, but. I maybe would have given that to my Grux if the Seb didn't walk in. As soon as Seb walks in, I gotta just take it. Blue circle around the camp was the aggro limit? No, that's when, if you pull the minions out of that blue circle, is when they start to de-aggro. It's when they're, it, they're calling it like a patience, I think in League maybe it's called the patience meter. Outside of the blue circle is where the patience meter begins to go down. While you're in the camp, the patience meter does not deplete. That blue circle is the actual, just the limits of the camp. So you'll see if I pull this over here... The blue circle shows up when they're on the edge. And then if I pull the big minion out of it, you can see that they start to de-aggro. The, the yellow bar starts to go down. That's the meter. And then when I pull them back in, it just refreshes. If that makes sense. Like this camp might... I was going to say that camp might de-aggro, but I was going to kill it fast enough. I'm mini prime rampage. I really should just be getting active right now. I should be running at somebody. Like this Kira. Go, go, ghost hit rampage rock is that's crazy. That's insane. Ghost hit ramp rock. What are we doing here, people? What even, what even is this? What the fuck is even this? Okay, I don't know what that guy's doing. That was, that was really odd. He didn't have hook, so I'm not afraid of rocking him in tower because he's not six. So he can't like ult me or hook me to keep me in tower. I'm fine. And eat a couple tower shots. Rampage can have a couple tower shots as a treat. I'll watch this. All me. All me. That was that was all that rock. Don't run sweepers as jungler? Not really. I'm just too lazy on most of the time. I like wards, to be honest. I really like having wards, even as a jungler. But mostly, I'm just too lazy to actually go and de-ward shit. Uh, this is going to take... This might kill me. I mean, I have ult. It, it does not kill me, because I have ult. But it's uh, annoyingly slow. All the fellows went mid lane. He never. Uh, hopefully nobody shows. Oh my god, there's a guy that showed up. I'm. I'm cooked. I'm sorry, Sparrow. Wait, am I sorry, Sparrow? Oh shit!
I'm sorry, Sparrow. No way. He lives. Decker kills him. That's so sad that the, that he leveled up. He leveled up off the Sparrow kill and it saves him. Oh. Those Argus ults were a little bit off. That's all right. That's so unfortunate that that guy lives. If I had Fire Blossom, if I had Fire Blossom, he dies. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't really like Fire Blossom on Rampage. I think it's just okay. I think it's just okay. Ramp's pretty meh. I think Ramp is decent. I think he's better than meh. Overlord, I just don't think you really need that on Rampage, to be honest. I think his E is so good now that you don't really need a clear item. Like, I'd rather just go Basilisk and be able to kill people, you know? Like, that's, that's, really, like, that's really what I think it is, is I'd rather just have Basilisk and, and have the ability to kill people than have slightly better jungle clear. Like, my your E is so good on jungle clear. Oh, too high. Oh, my God. I domed the, like, the aim was on, like, the, the travel time was on point. Slapped that wall with my fucking rock. Camp, you can't, the, so the camp, you see the little yellow bar under the big minion in the camp? When that minion leaves the camp is when the diagro starts. And when that bar goes all the way down, the, the camp will reset. It'll reset the same way that it used to reset when you walk too far away from it. That's what happens when the when the camp goes down. So now this one's resetting. You see the yellow bar, how it's getting smaller? When that yellow bar hits zero, it, the camp resets. Oh, I domed her. That was a good Richter ult. Just trying to save my Sparrow. She's dead for that, but... That's unfortunate that she was able to kill my Sparrow. She dies for it, but... That's probably worth it for her. She was going to die anyway. She was going to die anyway. Like That's not a bad play from her. Get mini. I'm going to get this guy's red jungle. But buff isn't up. Game removed by Kira. That was a good play from her. To, I mean, she again, she's dead no matter what. I don't know if it's worth her flash to go for that, but I don't think it's not worth her flash to go for that, you know? It's one of those where it's like, if you think you sh you're going to need your flash soon, then it's fine, but... I should have thrown that sooner. He, his dash got him. His dash got him far enough out of my rock. Argus finished him. Nice. I'm just going to try and farm out my full tainted here. My Grux is banging that guy hard. Oh, he... What the... This guy's Dota building. This guy's actually just the biggest Dota builder of all time. There's Severug. Probably shouldn't have rocked this camp. It's fine. Oh my god, that guy just got chain CC'd into oblivion. That dude's pissed. That Quang didn't get to play. Uh, it's a Fang angle. It's a Fangle, perhaps. Pack Fang Tooth. Imagine you can only pull one camp at a time. Yeah, well, it's just the, the, like the, again, I think in League it's called Patience. That's why everyone calls it Patience. But, um, in League it's, or in, uh, in this game, the meter runs out too fast. So you can't really you can't really pull a camp all the way to another camp because the meter will run out. Like theoretically, you you could if the meter was longer, but it, it's just it's not long enough, so you don't get to do that. I was matchmaking. Uh, I definitely think it's better. I was duo queuing with Wangle and we were getting like 
real players on our team. So I definitely think it's a... Oh my god, dude, what a gamer. He just gave me an Icecorn Talons. Like, pulling camps in this game is kind of weird anyway because of how, like, they don't move very fast, you know? Like, the camps really do, like, move a little bit and then stand still and hit you, and then, like, they move again. So it makes it a little awkward to pull camps anyway. Plus, they stop on dead minions, which is really annoying. I haven't fixed that part yet. Okay. Oh, I kind of yoinked that. My Grex mate is... Oh, what the... F what just happened to me? Oh, I got pillared. Rip. Flash my rock. Nice. He's dead anyway. Big. Oh my god. that Dude, that Argus ult hit that Richter so hard. Ah, rip. Sev's all up in my bidness, blocking my, ult, my blocking my rock. I'll take the minions. Oh, a pink buff? All mine. Kobe. Not quite. I tried. I tried. At least aggro resetting doesn't seem to reset minion health anymore. Well, you can't really... It's fixed because you can't really pull a camp outside of its radius anymore. You're kind of forced to... Uh, like, the camp will walk at you if you pull it outside of its radius, right? So that part just doesn't work as work as much. Because if you pull it, you can pull it. You can sure hit a camp from outside its radius, but then it just walks at you. And it's like, you know, that doesn't... Oh, that doesn't really solve anything. Like, it doesn't do a whole lot to pull a camp outside of its radius. But wh whereas before, you know, carries could just kill camps without getting hit. So much sweat in one player. It makes a Fey ult noise when you hit the thing. Opening the item shop breaks, breaks my rock. Yo, VR486, thank you for the primer, man. Welcome to the pin zone, dude. I appreciate it. Alright, let's see. Who's big? I'm kind of big. My Grux is still kind of big. My Argus is pretty big. Four and or he's, he's four and three. Oh, no. My Grux is four and three. My Argus is three and one. Got items online. Okay. I don't know if I don't know if he thought that one through. I don't want him to ult me in the tower for free. Kind of stepping forward to space for my Argus here. Good juke, good juke. Nice, he ulted him. Okay. Okay, tower's dead. Kind of going to walk at this guy. I don't really have anything else to do. Okay, his whole jungle is up. Now I got something else to do. Oh, yeah, baby. I like to see. ADC can't sit outside their zone and kill him. You can. I mean, you can still walk away from the camp, but it's a lot harder to do it. Just because if you walk too far away from the camp, then um, it'll just reset. It'll just walk away from you, right? Bonk. Nice. That was Kira cleanse and ult. Oh, Sev's here. I'm going to try and get this guy to ult me. I want him to ult me. Ult me. Ult me. Ult me. Ult me. Ult me. That was a really rough Richter ult from that guy. You going to ult me?
Nice. He got his cleanse and we still stunned him. Nice. The Decker ult somehow stunned that guy. I have no idea how. Oh, he juked my fucking auto. What a gamer. All right. I'm going to take a base. That was a, that was a really kind of weird fight. That was a really long fight, mostly. Like, everyone... My team is all respawned. Half of them died, and they're respawned already. Uh, what is their mid... Uh, they have a TB mid. I'm just stacking FizzD this game. Jungle goes good with Chimera because it you can keep your 30 stacks. That's true. That's fair. Yeah, you can you can run around the jungle and keep your keep all your stacks. Guy's just dead. Got him. Got him. I think we can go prime. Or at least bait a fight on prime. We can at least walk over and force these guys to walk in. Oh, my sparrow didn't follow us. Uh, Sparrow? Sparrow? Any Sparrowers in chat? We do have Argus damage, and he has Caustica. He should be infinite mana, or really close. Oh, there's their, their junglers in the other side of the map. Okay. Nice. Even it, I mean, their, their Quang just showed in left. Like, they don't have a jungler here. That's all I got, really. That's the bat. Yeah. I kind of saw that one coming. Just leave. We, we're good. I'm going to back up, grab some camps, and then base. I'm 7-1? and one? Damn, bro. Rampage OP? Wango was telling, was trying to tell me that Rampage was OP earlier. Get PP buffs? Nah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't primal yet. Only single P buffs for me. Bang tooth too small for PP. About to surrender. Uh, they are a little bit behind now. I mean, they have, like, the Quang is kind, like, he has a damage item. The Sev is full defense. Like, I'm not scared of those two. Even the Richter, I mean, is, is defense. Like, the only real damage dealers on their team are carries. Like, I'm just going to stack fucking Fizzy. I'll go, I'll go a magic defense item after this Giants ring, but, like, I could just actually just stack physical defense. The only people that can kill me are the two carries, and neither of them have builds that are really going to kill me. Kira has Breach, and Twin Blast is going Cringe Blast build. Showing you the ways of the Rampage. I think, I mean, I think this character is pretty good. Oh my god, I caught his dash. Splash. Flash. Okay. He died? How did he die? What did he die to? Did he get... No, my Argus didn't ult. What did he die to? Did he die to Tainted Guard hitting me? That's Feppy. I wonder what he died to. He might have died to Tainted Guard hitting me. I didn't pull my rock in time. I'm sorry, Argus. -y. Good pillar, honestly. Oh, bad rock. Sparrow! No! Get me out! Get me out! Get me out! We live in. We live in. I was I wasn't even I wasn't scared. I don't you know, I wasn't panicking. I'm I'm good. Nice job, Sparrow. That was big. Alright. Magic defense time. Might be just an unbroken will angle, honestly. Richter Quang. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just Crystalline Curious. Do either of these guys have magic damage? No, they don't. I got the kill. I know I killed the twin blast. I don't know how I killed the twin blast. That's the question. <laughs> I know he I know he died and I know I got the kill, but ow. 
Yeah, I think I'll just go Crystalline Curious. Like they have a, they have two Fire Blossom, three Fire Blossoms, and a Tainted Guard. That's basically just this is basically just 15% move speed for me, right? Like that's essentially what that is. I'm just always gonna have it. That's kind of bold for my Sparrow. Must have been Tainted Bleed. That's what I'm thinking. I had a red buff as well. But I, he died so late, I don't think it was red buff. I think it was tainted, but... I just don't know. I want to know how much damage he took to die to tainted blade. Or to die to uh, tainted guard. Yeah, you're not getting this ward, buddy. Or do I'll defend this ward with my fucking life. Yeah, nice tether, idiot. Go back for that ward. <laughs> he just used both of his sweepers. He's not going to be able to sweep that one now. Unless they want to spend a support ward on it. I don't think we can pull this yet. Unless my Grex gets a kill or we we get a kill. I don't think we can just rip this in front of him, honestly. I know we're ahead, but... Bad stun. Terrible rock. Maybe I didn't need to jump out. I was just eating a lot of damage and I wasn't so sure. Sure did use all your abilities while I still well, before I pulled the rock. I can't hit that guy. Uh I'm I'm too low to tank this. I'm just gonna ping BRB. I'm too low to tank this. I can't pull this. My sparrow's gonna die. I, I can't tank that for her. I'm sorry. I can now. She's dead. She's dead. She's actually dead. I was like two health. She's actually typing too. She said, why you back off? Like, bro, there's no way that I'm tanking a fucking primal at, at 600 HP. I know you're Sparrow and you have Sky Splitter, but. Okay. Once our Argus gets here, we have damage on it. Oh, there? That's their jungler. Uh, I don't like this, but we're kind of committed now. Just keep, just keep shredding it, Ar Argusy. Okay, that was not a good smite from that guy. That's all right. He should have, he should have probably outsmited me on that. He missed his, and it gave it to me. Need another thousand gold still for Curious. I think we just insta pull this. Their jungler's dead. What's stopping us? Double Ice Corn Talons incoming. This stack. How do I have? One, 190. If I stand on only one of them. 169. Okay, Ice Corn Talons stacks. That's new. Uh, that's new. Wait. That. One sec. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Rux, use talons when it comes up. I'm gonna ask him to use his ice scorn talons. So I have 148 power. Use your talons. Use your ice scorn talons. Use your, use your ice corn talons. He wants to walk in. That's fair. He wants to use it for something. Because if that stacks, that's nuts. It was just one? I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. So I'm 148 power. Ice corn talons is 15%, right? 
It's 15% physical power. The, the, the thing does not read very well, but it should be 15% physical power. Which puts me to 169. And if I double it up, I go to 190. It stacks. That's that's stacking Ice Scorn Talons. That's insane. I'll just ult in. Sure wish I had my Ice Scorn Talons right about now. <laughs> I'm just trying to body block for my, uh, for my Grex. Oh, no way I missed that. Okay, it's, that's stacking. That's stacking Ice Scorn Talons. I know the ability, I know what the ability description says. It's not correct. The ability description says 15% more damage. That's what it used to be. That's not what it does anymore. It's 15% physical power. And it's stacking. Double Ice Scorn Talons, new meta. I'll double Ice Scorn for my Sparrow, bro. Get in there. Ah, shit. <laughs> ah, rip. I missed. I kind of need to get some Prime Healing. Not gonna lie. 80 HP a second. Not bad on Prime Healing. I missed. He backstepped me, but the Sev missed too. Oh, rip Sparrow. That's so unfortunate. Okay, we need to leave. We probably should have left a long time ago. We're giga overstaying. Ah, uh, rip. He flashed. Okay, I'll just base. The description's lying. The description's lying. It says 15 more damage in game. It says 15 more what in the menu. In game description is not correct. Unless the item has been incorrect for the last year in the item description. Because it used to be 15% power is what it used to be. It used to be gain 15% power. Because it was insane for magical characters to stand inside of it. And then they changed it to be 15% more physical power. Because it was insane to get 15% fucking magic power standing inside of that it was nuts so they changed it and it, then it was 15 percent physical power and now it says 15 percent more damage which is not true again to my knowledge unless they shadow changed the item which would be wild that's not true but it stacks i went from 148 to like 190 I really want to get my blue buff, man. I really want my blue buff there. Just having 15 extra haste is so big. I know I have a lot already, but 15 is not a not a not a small amount. I'm just going to try and stop this guy from walking at my Grux. My Grux was about to kind of get pinched there, and I just wanted to stop that. Guy just got the treatment, bro. Guy got the old cutscene treatment. The old classic uh, get cutscene idiot. See, I'm at 209 with one Ice Corn Talon. Try to pull fire to front of pit in case they walk in. That was a terrible smite, but I got it anyway. Okay, I literally could not care less about this. <laughs> what? What am I doing, bro? What? What is happening here? What? Is, what is going on? I just ate 19 abilities in front of a carry, and nothing happened to me. Literally, nothing happened to me. I just, I just, I just ate Richter hook. Alt silence in front of a carry shooting me the entire time and nothing happened to me. Magic power stat also rise. I mean zero plus fifteen percent is zero. So I can't tell. I didn't I didn't build any magic power. You're saying the matchmaking feels better? I don't think it's that bad. I mean those guys have real players. That's Eps and Feppy are definitely duo queued, and both of those guys were kinda not on it that game. They were playing double carries and I was just able to walk at them as rampage. So Dude, my my man's got the one 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 triple double. Oh my god. 
This might be the best slash line I've ever seen in a game of predecessor. That's actually so hot. 11, 11, and 11 for the triple double? That's nuts. I want that. I mean, I did 25k damage. I took 46k and I mitigated 56k. That's a lot. That's a lot of stats. And I healed 13k. It's a lot of stats.